Welcome to the Cowboy Slot Channel, guys. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a full review and breakdown of the resorts at Wendover. Now, this is a new video series that I'm starting where I'm going to be breaking down and giving an honest review of various casinos and their properties that are attached to them. Now, the resorts at Wendover include three properties, which is located in the small town of West Wendover, Nevada. It's located in the northern part of the state and sits on the Utah border. If you live in Salt Lake City, it's your closest gaming destination. Now, the three properties include the Montego Bay, the Pepper Mill, and the Rainbow Resort and Casino. Now, before we dive into the review, I just want to let you guys know a couple things. For starters, I never accept any kind of endorsements or deals or anything like that from any of the properties that I review. I always make sure to give an honest review, not just from my opinion, but from the data that I collect. And before I went to the resorts at Wendover, I did make a request from the Nevada Gaming Commission, and I actually got the financial records, the most up-to-date numbers on the resorts at Wendover, which they gave me in about 24 hours, which was very fast and very nice of them. Um, the categories that I break down are five categories, and those categories are going to include accommodations, guest service, gaming, the player rewards program, and finally, the food that's available at the property. And at the end of the review, I give an overall grade and also some tips so that you guys can make a good decision. So, let's dive right into it. Since this is the first review that I'm doing of a casino property, I want to let you know my grade scale and exactly how I grade the categories. It's a simple scale. It's graded on A, B, C, D, and F. A meaning exceptional. I found no issues whatsoever. B, meaning very good, but it might have one issue here or there, something to cost it from getting an A. The C would be, I found it to be very average, uh, very industry standard. Um, there might be some issues involved, but it's still average and not too bad. A D grade would be very subpar. I found some major issues that really need looked at and really need reviewed. And maybe in this category, if it's a strong point to you, you should consider looking elsewhere. And then finally, an F, which is total failure. I would not recommend it. Stay away from it as much as possible. So those are how I break down the categories. And guys, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. If this is your first time to my channel, check out my other videos in the library. I have a lot of different videos on there of Mythbusters, slot tips, and all kinds of good information. And I will be doing more of these videos and if you would like me to come to a local casino that you guys have near you and do a review, leave it down in the comments below and let me know. This category I am extremely picky on. I will nitpick and I will try to find anything with this category because it can make or break anybody's vacation. That category is guest service. Today we're going to be talking about the guest service and the overall customer experience and level of friendliness from the staff that you get from the resorts at Wendover. Now if you've ever gone on vacation and you walk into a hotel and you have a bad experience at check-in or a bad experience at a restaurant or maybe with a dealer or slot floor, it can really kind of burst your bubble and ruin your vacation. So we want to make sure that that does not happen. And what I found is that all three properties, it really didn't happen at all. Um, the staff was extremely friendly. Um, one of the things that I noticed is the staff really works well with each other. Everybody seems to be having a good time and relaxed. The customer service is very fast. The people are very friendly. They'll smile at you. They'll greet you properly. And also, if you're staying at a resorts at Wendover property, what I noticed is they are very, very quick and kind to accommodate any requests. So if you're coming with a large group of people, you'll find that the check-in process is pretty streamlined and easy. Now, there's only one thing in this category that they got a negative ding on, and that ding would be on the slot floor, which I will dive in and explain in the gaming portion of this review. But my overall grade for guest service for the resorts of Windover would be a B grade. So, grade B, as a reminder, it means very, very good, above industry average, and little to no issues whatsoever. So let's talk about category number two, accommodations. The resorts at Wendover actually really surprised me when it comes to accommodations. Typically speaking, if you go to older or smaller resorts, 
you expect kind of subpar rooms. But what I found at all three properties is that not to be the case. The resorts at Windover actually have very, very large rooms. They're quiet, they're clean, and even the smallest room that you can get would actually be considered a larger suite in a place like Las Vegas. If you do opt to have a larger suite, those suites actually have a lot of really cool features, such as a full-size hot tub in the room, and also some rooms even have a full-size bar, and the pricing for the rooms are actually really, really good. Um, now, if you do use your player's rewards card, you can get a lot of free upgrades or free rooms, which we will dive into that into the next category. But even if you're paying for the rooms, if it's your first time there, the rooms are very inexpensive, and even the largest suites they have tend to be under $300 a night. Also, another really positive thing about the accommodations at the resorts at Windover is it's very easy to get adjoining rooms. So, if you are coming in with a large group of friends or family, or even if you have children and you want the children to be in a separate room, you do have that option at the resorts of Windover, and the staff is very, very quick and very helpful to accommodate that request. Overall, I would give the accommodations in this category a B grade. Now, the only reason why it did not get an A is the rooms tend to be a little bit outdated, but they are still clean and they are still very nice, and it's very hard to get an A in any category, but overall, I would give accommodations a B. Category number three, player rewards. The resorts at Windover offer a very extensive player rewards program, and to be honest, I was quite shocked by this. The player rewards program at the Win uh, resorts at Windover have, are actually the best rewards program I have ever seen in any casino in any state that I have been in. There is a lot of opportunities for multipliers and comps. Um, they have tons, tons of various projects and uh, giveaways and things going on almost on a daily basis. Um, you move up tier statuses very, very quick, which is hard to do at any category. Um, even people that I know that play very, very minimal um, are able to move up their status relatively quick within a visit or two. Um, within my first visit, I actually moved up to the mid-level status, which I didn't play a lot at the property, so I was shocked by this. There's also a really cool feature that I want to talk about that not many hotels and resorts offer is resorts at Windover actually give you the option to link your card with another person. So if you have a spouse that goes with you and maybe they don't play as much, maybe you're the player and they're not, you can actually go up and link your accounts together so you guys actually share a bank of points and you share a status. So you can earn the points and your significant other can go and use the points without having to cart your card around. Now you do not have to be married, and I did clarify that with, uh, with the player rewards people. Um, you can link your card to anybody's. So even if you have a best friend that you like to go with, or you know somebody that you're dating and you like to go with, you guys can actually link your cards together and share your status, which I think is a really, really awesome feature that you don't find at a lot of other properties. Overall, the resorts at Windover have the best player rewards program that I have found anywhere in the entire country, and I would gladly give them a perfect grade A for their rewards program. It is definitely something that you guys should check out, definitely sign up. Their benefits are out of this world, and they have amazing, amazing comp days. There are so many days of the month that they offer five times, six times, seven times multipliers on points and comps. Um, even if you're a low limit player and you only play penny machines, you can easily rack up $50, $100 food credits. Um, it is exceptionally phenomenal. So definitely when you go to the resorts at Windover, sign up for the player rewards program because that in and of itself makes the trip entirely worth it. Category number four, casino gaming. I know this is why a lot of you are watching this video because you want to know how the slot machines stack up how they act, what the payout rates are, and generally how the casinos are in Wendover. So before I actually went to Wendover, like I mentioned earlier in the introduction, I did make a request from the Nevada State Gaming Commission to get any financial documents I could and records and payout percentages for the resorts at Wendover prior to me going. The Gaming Commission was actually very nice and they got me those reports within 24 hours of me requesting it. So 
When I reviewed the reports, one thing that I noticed is the resorts of Wendover uh, really didn't pay out a lot um, so far this year. And I was chalking that up to, well, maybe, you know, it, it is a smaller town, they are smaller casinos, so maybe that is the reason. Um, what I found, generally, guys, is all three of these properties do have a very good selection of machines. Uh, they, there's a lot of machines to pick from, both new and old. They have all the newest popular games, and they also do have a lot of the older classic games, which people know and love. If you are a high-limit slot player, the resorts at Windover are kind of subpar, and they do lose points in this category. So each property, the Montego Bay, Rainbow, and Peppermill, they all do have their own high limit rooms. However, they are very, very small, and the high limit machines, there's not very many of them, and most of the games are actually repeats. There's a lot of the same game in the high limit areas, which is kind of disappointing if you're looking for uh, something more than just triple double diamond. The Rainbow High Limit Room really kind of disappointed me in the aspect of it was not a room, but more so just a cubicle. And not only was it a cubicle, but it was a very tight, close quarters cubicle. Uh, the aisleways were relatively small, and on a busy night you could go in there and you're pretty much bumping shoulders with people uh, just to get around and play some high limit slots. So unfortunately with this category, the resorts at Windover actually did fall short in a few areas. The first, which was again, really really a big deal for me uh, the floor was very unkept um, pretty much even at all hours of the day and even late at night when there weren't very many people on the floor uh, there there was glasses and trash everywhere uh, none of the chairs were pushed in which coming from somebody that worked for the casino before every property that I've worked at we've always been um, had a great slot floor team that would go around and pushing chairs and everything, but unfortunately at the resorts at Wendover, uh, the slot people were almost nowhere to be found, and two times that I was playing a machine, I actually got a real tilt, and I actually had to wait about 25 minutes for a slot attendant to come over, and even had to flag down somebody from security to call someone to come over, and the resort wasn't even that busy. So that's one major point for me um, that also, uh, this, this incident that occurred on the slot floor, having to wait for that person, um, actually did cost them in the customer service aspect of the review as well. So they would have actually gotten an A in customer service, but I bumped it down to a B simply because of this one interaction that I had. Um, it wasn't just that interaction. Um, I did see one gentleman actually hit a jackpot on the floor, and uh, through casual conversation talking with him, um, I asked him, I said, hey, how long have you been waiting for somebody? And he replied that he had been waiting almost 10 minutes for somebody. Um, in that small of a casino, your wait times should not be that long. Um, also, probably the biggest disappointment that I found was even on the busiest night, which was Saturday night that I was there, the floor was extremely packed, even the high limit area. Uh, packed with people, lots of people playing. Not one jackpot in sight, which was very, very, very sad to see. I personally sat down and I played some of the high limit machines and I sat there and played for probably about an hour and not even a single line hit. So what I found is the machines actually were not that great. And again, I did review the numbers and look to see what they were paying out and it was relatively subpar uh, compared to a lot of the other casinos in Nevada. Um, and again, it could just be from their size, but their their numbers were did not look very good. Overall, in the gaming category, what I would give the resorts at Windover is, unfortunately, I have to give them a D. The reason why they're receiving a D, it's mostly because of the unkept floor. Um, that is a big, big thing for me. If your resort is not busy, if it's late in the evening, if it's one, one in the morning, two in the morning, and your slot people are not even pushing in chairs and they're just standing around talking to their buddies, that's a big deal. And people shouldn't have to be waiting a very long time. But also, the numbers just don't stack up with the resorts at Wendover. Unfortunately, according to the Nevada Gaming Commission, they're not paying out a lot. So I would, unfortunately, in this category, I have to give them a D grade. There's just too many things that I noticed, um, too many flaws in the gaming aspect 
um, of the casino. Now, if you do like to play table games at the resorts at Wendover, uh, the only thing that is really different is they do not offer traditional blackjack. The blackjack that they offer is only single deck blackjack where you actually pick up and handle the cards, which I think is a little bit different. Um, normally, in any other casino you would go to, it's normally six decks for playing blackjack, but the resorts at Wendover, all properties, they only offer single deck blackjack, which can be fun, but also at the same time, if you like having a full shoe and not having to constantly shuffle and you know pick up the cards and stuff like that it's just really weird how they do their blackjack there so that's one thing um, but their table game limits are very good uh, they do have lower limits on their table games like five dollar roulette five dollar craps and five dollar blackjack so if you're a lower limit player definitely check out the table games at the resorts at Wendover and finally category number five is the food pretty much just like any casino that you would go to the food options are relatively limited and resorts at Wendover is no different the only thing that is kind of nice about the resorts at Wendover is the area is very quiet and there is regular fast food around so if you are just wanting something cheap you want to grab some McDonald's or some Arby's or KFC or something like that, it's right across the street, it's not hard to get to, and it's relatively easy. But for the purpose of this review, we're just going to talk about the food at the resorts. So I dined at a couple different places. They have some to-go, some grab-and-go options, and then they also have sit-down restaurants and, of course, the buffets. My biggest disappointment in this category is the fact that the buffet is pretty much closed every day of the week, and it's only open on the weekends. Um, so if you are a buffet lover and you like to go to these buffets, be ready to be disappointed if you go there during the week because the resorts at Wendover do not offer uh, buffets um, during the week. They only offer it pretty much Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for limited hours only. So that's kind of disappointing, especially if you enjoy buffets. Now, as for the food, the prices are relatively average and the meals are average as well. The staff is very nice and one of the nice things about the resorts at Wendover food options is you really never have a wait time, even on busy days, uh, busy evenings, even if you have a large party of people. Uh, when we went, we had a party of nine of us that went to one of the restaurants there at the Rainbow and we got seated right away without issue and the service was fast and the food was fast. Um, is it gourmet, you know, five-star dining? No, it's not. It's pretty average food. In the food category, I would give the resorts at Wendover an average grade of a C. There's really nothing special about it, but it's not terrible either. It's relatively average compared to other casinos and other properties. Alrighty, y'all, it's time for the final wrap-up and final tips and my final thoughts on resorts at Wendover. Now, of those five categories, those letter grades, again, that I gave them, the first being customer service, they received a B grade. Great customer service. Really, really good. Um, the only reason why they did not receive an A was because of the slot floor employees. That's the only reason they didn't get an A. Everybody else was super nice, super attentive, and really, really great with their customer service. The next category is accommodations. Very large rooms. Prices that are very, very fair. And the accommodations were great. They were clean. They got a B grade just because that they weren't as updated as some of the other casino properties are. The next category, player rewards, they received a perfect grade A. This is the best rewards program I've ever seen, and also the fact that you can link it with somebody else, you can link it, you can share it with your spouse, really sets them apart and really takes that over the edge. Unfortunately, the next category in slot gaming and gaming in general, I did have to grade them a letter D. The biggest reason for this is the unkept floor and the unattentiveness of the staff. Guys, that is a big thing. If the staff is not attentive, if the floor is not clean, it's packed, it's crowded, there's chairs everywhere, there's trash everywhere, that ruins an experience. So unfortunately, I have to give them a D. Not only that, they do have a great selection of machines, however, the payouts are not that good. Um, the amount of money that they've paid out so far this year just does not stack up to other casinos. And also, the last category is food. So, for the food category, it's very average. They have good food, it's widely available, you get seated quick, but it's nothing special to write home to, and they got an average grade in that category. 
my final grade for the resorts at Wendover would be a C. It's very average. If the resorts at Wendover is in your path and you're relatively close by, if you live in Salt Lake City or Wyoming like I do, and you want to travel to a good property and have some fun, especially if you're with a group of people or have a large family, then the resorts at Wendover is perfect for you. However, if you are a high limit slot player and you're coming from far out, out of state, or maybe you're in Las Vegas, it's not worth the six hour drive from Las Vegas to come to Wendover or really flying from other states to come visit Wendover. It's just not worth it. It's a great casino, uh, great properties for if you are a local um, or if you're nearby or maybe you're a truck driver and you're passing through. It's a great place to stop. Would I make a special trip for it? Unfortunately not. So guys, in the end, my final grade letter is C for the resorts at Wendover. Thank you so much for watching the Cowboy Slot channel, guys. We just passed 20,000 viewers in less than two months' time of this channel being established, which is phenomenal, and I thank you all so much. If you're new to the channel, be sure check out the library, check out my other videos. If you're heading to the resorts of Wendover, best of luck to you. It is a good property, guys. It really is. Um, have fun when you go out there. Um, and let me know your, let me know your comments down below. If, if you guys have been to the resorts at Wendover and found this review to be accurate, leave your comment down below. Or again, if you have a property that you would like me to review, leave that down in the comments as well. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much. As always, best of luck to you, and thanks for tuning in.